Hello everyone. Thank you for joining our capstone uh, graduation events. Our project is about movie and TV show recommendation system. Sound interesting, right? But before we dive into it, let me introduce you to the team who done the hard work behind the scene. Starting with Khaldun and Gina, who's gonna walk you through the data set and the analysis. Lord and Gina, who's gonna tell you about how the dashboard works. And lastly, myself, Ala. With so many streaming platforms available to watch movie and series nowadays, and the fact that you have to pay for them, questions like which one or combinations offer the best service often come into play. Now I will give you a brief overview of this movie recommendation system, which is basically a search engine either by type, genre, title, release year or actor and director. For example, if you search a horror movie, in return, you will you will uh, get a horror movie with their description, platforms where you could watch it and where it was produced. It's actually targets all people with different interests and ages. Now you will be asking yourself, why is it useful when I have Google? Well, with this system, you have access to all streaming platforms which save your time and effort to find and watch the content. Tell her to your specific interest and lastly, it increased overall satisfaction with the service. Now we'll hand it over to Khaldun. Thank you, Ala. Now I will walk you through our data sets and analysis in our project. We got our data sets from Data Science Community Kaggle for that platforms. Our data sets contain movies and, and TV shows on Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Disney streaming service and was acquired in 2022, available in the United States. Each platform has two data sets containing the titles and their act, cast, actors, and their directors, which provided us information about type, movie, or TV shows, platform, IMDb, score, and production countries. In order to, uh, in order to explore, clean, and visualize our data sets, we use the tools Python, SQL, and Tableau, and many more. On this slide, we can see the percentage distribution of content for movies and TV shows for each streaming platform in our data. The first to lead is Amazon Prime with 48% of movie and TV shows content. The second comes Netflix with 41%. And the last com comes the newest platform, Disney Plus, with 11%. In terms of content uh, comparison, uh, each platform offers a, a wide selection of movie and TV shows. We noticed all the platforms have more, more movies than the TV shows. We can see type of the content the platform offers us and how they are distributed. Based on our data, we can conclude that if you prefer mo uh, movie content, Amazon is the one for you with almost 1,500 more movies than the Netflix, which is the second highest. However, if you are interested to watch TV shows, Netflix is the number one with 800 more titles than the second Amazon Prime. But let us explore not only the quantity, but quality as well. Here we have a, class, a, a classification of movie TV shows categorized uh, categorizes based on the, their quality. The classification is according to the IMDb score and votes for all people with different interests. That means if the score of the movie or TV shows is above six and more than 300 votes on IMDb is a quality movie or TV show. And if the score is above 7.5 and uh, more 300 votes, it's a high quality movie or TV show. In our data, Amazon Prime has more uh, quality, uh, quantity, but Netflix has more quality. So if you, if you care more about quality, we recommend you to choose Netflix. Now for further, further information, I hand over to Gina. Thank you, Hello. On this slide, we can see the, the percentage of the genre distribution according in our, uh, for our data. It's not surprising to see that drama is the category with the largest content on both Amazon Prime and Netflix. 
as this is a popular genre that appeals to a wide audience. It is also <clears throat> worth noting that Amazon Prime has a slightly higher percentage of drama content compared to Netflix. On Disney+, Plus, it is interesting to see that the family category leads with 19%. This makes sense, given that Disney has a strong reputation for producing family-friendly content and that is enjoyed by viewers of all ages. Comedy is the second genre to lead on all three streaming platforms. This suggests that viewers enjoy a mix of both serious and light-hearted content, and that streaming platforms are catering to both of these preferences. Overall, it is clear that the type of content available on each streaming platform can play a big role in which one you choose to subscribe to. According to our data, here are the top movies that have received the highest IMDb score. Uh, we recommend top five movies and the next is uh, top five TV shows according to IMDb rating. Feel free to look for them in our dashboard. Now I'll hand it over to Lord with the story. Thank you, Gina. Um, so in order to better understand our dashboard, we created um, a persona of two young adults, John and Erica. They moved in together and they both love movies, shows, but have different preferences. John is more flexible and Erica is more strict to generous. So it's Erica's birthday and John wants to surprise her by choosing a movie that she likes. She knows that she likes Walt Disney, so we will search for Walt Disney in Search by Action and Director. So we're going to, with the help of the dashboard, we're going to help John surprise Erica. So regarding that, um, we first realized um, Disney is where it shows Walt Disney movies or series, and it has a subscription fee of eight dollars since um, our data is from the USA and then we realized we have over 34 um, movies and series um, created by Walt Disney either he participated in or directed and here we also have the countries where the movies were produced that is in the USA and in Brazil and the next slide on the right gives us an overview of the movies which is the year it was produced the title of the movie um, the type of the movie, whether it's a movie or a TV series, and the age um, certification. This is PG um, rated 13 or 17, and the genres of the movie. And below the country, um, where we have the director and the movie rating, where available in our data set. So they can decide whether to go for a higher rating movie or, yeah, or in the, Below it is a description of the movie to choose or to help him decide which movie Erica would love. And also if um, Erica loves a shorter movie or a shorter series or a longer movie, they can also decide. Um, I give it back to Gina. Thank you, Lord. Um, imagine it's Sunday and Erica and John uh, have decided to invite their friends for a movie night. One friend uh, suggests um, to watch a comedy, while another one suggests to watch action, and the, the, the next friend <laughs> suggests to watch a horror movie. So let's uh, search by genre uh, in the dashboard, and we see the results. Our dashboard uh, provides us with a list of the movies um, according to their preferences. So they have they are able to see all the lists with the movies of their preferences according to genres. But what we know also is that one of their friends and John prefer to watch a movie with a high rating so they can uh, they have also the possibility to filter by rating score. And now we have um, a tape uh, now we have the information of the movies according to the rating score and they have uh, they are able to choose one particular movie according uh, with agreement. So if we choose one movie, we can see all the information that also Lot explained before and where it's produced, how much does it cost to watch in each platform and also a description of it and also a runtime of the show. So this dashboard can help them make a movie, a more informed decision about what to watch and increase their chances of having a great movie watching experience. Thank you.
and see you in a breakout room for more questions.